Hello makers, I'm Joe the 3D Maker Noob and today is an awesome day. I'm really excited because after a very long wait, I get to introduce to you guys Vorpal the Fighting Hexapod. Vorpal here, or as I decided to call him, Jerry, is an Arduino based hexapod. Bit of a backstory, Vorpal has been featured on Thingiverse for quite some time. And the reason is because it was an Indiegogo campaign quite a few months ago, which I had back. This, the parts that I had ordered in the kit, I obviously didn't include the 3D printed parts because I wanted to print them myself. So I ordered the electronics package. Now those electronics were shipped to me about two months ago. So they took absolutely forever to get here. But I'm very happy that they finally arrived. I spent the last few days printing out parts uh, for Jerry here and putting them together and it's been insane fun. As you've seen in the video, Jerry's got quite some moves. He has a few more. He can also fight. He can also fidget spinners, spin fidget spinners, spin the fidget spinners, fidget spinning. You put the fidget spinner on this printed thing and he just basically keeps on twirling it around. But it wasn't just limited to that the reason why this was made was to teach people or kids how to code one of the easiest ways to code new programs or teach uh, Vorpar or Jerry uh, new things is through scratch and for those of you who don't know scratch is a cloud-based kind of like a programming software which is extremely easy to use I've sent my daughter to a couple of lessons last year she absolutely loved it I still need to get into it however it makes for very easy programming so you can pretty much get it to do whatever you want it to do, obviously within the limits of the mechanical abilities of the robot. Now, everything about this kit is completely open source. So the parts to print are on Thingiverse. Every piece of electronics is Arduino based, so you can easily find those. Or you can choose to support the creator of this awesome project and buy directly from them. Now, getting this thing to work is actually really easy. I've printed this stand right here, so you can rest it on him. It's got holes where you can just line them up so it can rest. You just switch it on and you switch on the remote. Once it's on there and you switch on the remote, it pairs up via Bluetooth and you can get it to do many things. You have several buttons on the gamepad. You have different types of walking. You have dancing features. You have fighting features. You can also record the movement and then play it back automatically. So giving it a bit of a test, you can turn it around, move front, move back. You can make it hustle and back and turn on the other side. <laughs> you can also get it to dance and you can get it to be your secretary and type. Now this being Arduino based, you can actually put quite a lot of add-ons. And one of the things that I will be putting on is this proximity sensor. This is the standard circuit board for the proximity. Everything else is just 3D printed, which once again, you can find on Thingiverse. And in order to hook these things up, you have a few spare wires, which are pretty much coming out from the front. And you have these four screws here. All you do is just take off those lock nuts and tie it back in, connect everything and program it. It takes a nine volt battery for the controller, which slides very neatly in there. And for the robot itself, it takes two 18560s, 18650 batteries. Anyway, those. As you can also probably see, I gave Jerry a bit of a face. However, you can change these because there are magnets stuck all the way around where you can put stuff on it. And this comes with a magnet as well. Also, this is 3D printed and you can just attach it. And he has a face. You can print different faces, you can print nameplates, you can print anything you want. As long as it has a magnet, it'll stick to it. Now, as I probably mentioned, this cost me quite a bit of money when I backed it on Indiegogo. In order for me to back it, uh, get it here, pay taxes, cost me about $200. But even so, 
I think it costs about $150 for the deluxe kit. I'm all for supporting creators, so I highly recommend you do. However, most of the parts that there are in the kit, I actually have those already. There are only a few things that I need. And to be completely honest, if you had to buy all the things separately, it shouldn't cost you more than about $50 or $60. So if you're strapped for cash, you find it difficult to splash $150 to get the parts ready packed, then you simply can just buy them separately yourself. Or if you have a few Arduino kits lying around with some add-ons and some servos, you can just buy the remaining things. I will leave links to the Vorpal uh, shop which you can find online. I do highly recommend you support these types of creators because this thing is ridiculously fun. But I will also leave links to absolutely every single piece of component you might need to build this yourself. Programming it is also very easy because you have the USB port um, that goes into the uh, Arduino Nano inside the controller. And once you take the top off, you also have access to the Arduino Nano that is inside the hexapod itself. Now, all this was printed on the awesome JG Aurora A5S, which is proving to be an absolutely incredible printer. I have printed all this in Polymaker Polymax PLA. The reason why I chose PLA is because the creators suggest that you use ABS. Now, I did want to print this in ABS, and I do know that the Polymax uh, PLA actually can handle quite a lot of stress. It is a bit flexible, it does give you a bit of give and is also very strong. So for this project, it was absolutely perfect. And not only that, the colors look ridiculously good on this thing. That is it for me today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. As always, I will leave links in the video description to pretty much absolutely everything and anything. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. And as always, Actually, wait, hold on. Let me see if I can do this. Happy making, guys.